Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the volume of a cone uh, without using a calculator. So we write in the final answer in terms of pi. So the formula that you need to use to work out the volume of a cone is V equals a third pi r squared h. V is the volume, r is the radius, and h is the height of the cone. So let's have a look at the ex first example. So we've got to work out the volume of the cone in terms of pi. So our radius is 6 and our height is 20. So we can put these straight into our formula for the volume. So it's a third times pi times 6 squared times 20. So the first thing I'm going to do then is work out 6 squared, which is 36. So we've got a third times pi times 36 times 20. So we can now multiply a third by 36. So to do this, we just need to divide 36 by 3. So that will give us 12. So we get 12 times pi times 20. And then we can multiply the 12 by the 20. So 12 times 2 is 24. And just put the zero there. So we get 240 pi centimetres cubed. So let's move on to the second example then. So we've got to work out the volume of the cone in terms of pi again. So we've got the height, which is 8. Uh, we have to be careful on this one because this is the diameter of the circle. So if, if we half that diameter, that will give us the radius, which is 5. So again, if we put our numbers into the formula, it will be a third times pi times 5 squared multiplied by the height, which is 8. So 5 squared is 25. Okay, so this time I'm not going to do a third of 25 because it's going to come out as a, a decimal, that answer. So I'm going to multiply 25 by 8 first of all. Um, so 8 times 25 is 200. So if you, if you can't work that out in your head, just do it on the side of your page in columns like 25 times 8. So uh, we now need to multiply a third by 200. So again, 200 doesn't divide by 3. So I'm just going to write 200 as a fraction by writing this 200 over 1. And if we do 1 times 200 on the top, which is 200, 3 times 1, which is 3, so we can leave it as 200 over 3, and then just put the pi on the end. Uh, this fraction here doesn't simplify, so it's fine leaving it as an improper fraction. So our final answer is 200 over 3 pi centimetres cubed. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.